Hi everyone, in this video I'll explain to you how to make a transparent LCD side panel for your PC. This is an easy and affordable way to upgrade your PC and give it a unique look. But first, you should know something. This DIY project wouldn't look good in a black PC. You need mostly a white build in order to look good. This is because the display block most of the light. So we will need a white build in order to shine behind the display. I should also mention that selecting the right PC case would play a great role in how the display would look like. Luckily I have this fractal design current compact PC case, which is a mid-sized tower that fit a 19 inch monitor perfectly. Here are the tools and materials you need. At least a 19 inch monitor with a 4x3 aspect ratio. I would not recommend a 16x9 aspect ratio. 12 volt white LED strip, soldering iron and solder, white or black adhesive film, scissors or cutter. Are you ready? Let's go. Preparing the LCD display. Remove the LCD display from the housing. Disconnect the display connectors from the mainboard. Remove the power supply and other circuits from the back of the monitor as shown. Carefully remove the back side of the display. Remove the antique layer layer by soaking it in a wet towel for at least 4 hours. Four hours later. My display have two antique layer layers, one on each side. Please note that some displays have this type of connector and other look like this. For this project, it's better to find a monitor with this type of connector. Unfortunately, I cannot tell you what type of monitor to buy, but I would recommend buying the same model that I have, if possible. Apply the self-adhesive layer as shown. It serves two purposes. The first is to protect the sensitive connectors as they are very fragile. Second, it will look better inside the PC case. Now the display is ready. Now the power supply. Working with live electricity is dangerous and you should only do it if you know how. On the back of the monitor you will find the power supply and the display connector and the display controller. The controller normally runs on 5 volts. The power connection is located between the power supply and the display controller. You will need to figure out how much voltage each wire carries. I measure each one carefully, like this. We move them like this. As you can see here, I have two 5 volts and two ground or minus. You can ignore the rest of the wires. I would recommend using a Molex connector and connecting it to the power supply directly as shown here. 
Now our display controller is ready and can be run using 5V. You could also run it using a 5V USB cable, but you will need to change the settings in the motherboard to cut off the power when the PC is off, otherwise the display will stay on. Wire the LED strip as shown. I recommend connecting the LED strip to the motherboard 12 volt LED connector as shown. You could also you could also connecting them via the 12 volt on the Molex connector. Adhere the LED strip to the inner side of the display. You could also add an extra inside the case as shown here. Preparing the display controller. I would recommend spray painting the display controller white so it would look better inside the PC case. I have sprayed mine with a using a non-conductive white spray as shown here. Then I mounted it here inside the case with a plastic sheet underneath it to protect it from the metal case. Mount the display on the glass panel. You could use double-sided tape or regular tape. I have chosen to use regular tape as I have used double-sided tape before and it was very difficult to remove the old display from the case. Insert the LCD display into the housing. Reconnect the display connection to the display controller as shown. Apply the decorated film in front of the case as shown. Connect the display to your graphic card. And you could use a program called Wallpaper Engine to show cool animations. Good luck on your build.